ways of finding instruments. Um, sometimes it's we're looking for something, so we'll go wandering around, picking things up, hitting them, playing them. Um, but usually you have an idea, like we want to do something, say with trolleys, or we want to do something with a broom. And then it's a case of finding the different trolley that is the easiest to use, that, that usually things break all the time. So it's finding things that are strong enough. To um, sustain the show. Yeah, yeah, because you have an idea when you work it out and then the whole thing just collapses. So it's finding, it's finding something that's strong enough and hopefully not adapting it, something that, that you can use as it is. That's the, the, the nice thing about Stomp is it's, there's so many different inspirations and everyone brings all their different inspirations, whether it's from you know, it might be Brazilian music or some all different walks musically. The weirdest one. The weirdest. Yeah, the weirdest one. <laughs> oh, what would be a weird... Um, we saw, I remember seeing a show at Africa OA, we saw in Sydney and there was a, an Egyptian dancers, Egyptian oh. stick dancers. And that became a kind of inspirational moment for something we do with kitchen yeah. sinks. I mean, I mean, Stump first started, and when I was a street, a street performer in London, mm -hmm. and the Burundi drummers were there from Africa, and they were carrying their drums on their heads and on their backs, and they looked like dustmen, like English people carrying dustbins. Oh. And that was one of the inspirations for Stump. That's it was where like, it came I from thought, oh, well, if we use dustbins, it will be our version of something.